I'll uh, talk about a few things. Uh, one is we have recently launched uh, our Connect platform. Uh, this is a platform where uh, we are putting in data. It's a cloud platform where we are taking data from our applications. But it's an open platform where uh, any of our partners can also bring in data. Uh, what we do at that level is we, we, will, we are providing you self-service visualization. Uh, there are AI capabilities. And then it is also a platform from collaboration with external stakeholders. So I'll take an example. Uh, we have been working with a company which is in renewable energy space. They have used the Connect platform to share data with their equipment suppliers who monitor the performance for them. Uh, in this region, we have worked with a company where they have, uh, they have a process unit where they're using the same platform to share the data with uh, their licensor. And the licensor is, is providing them with real-time performance uh, analytics as well as, as, well as feedback. Uh, the other thing I would talk about is uh, generative AI. We are, we are adding it to a lot of our tools. Uh, one other thing, and I was at uh, Avio over last week where we did a lot of those demos uh, which get into even the prescriptive, where say if you have a, a failure on equipment, uh, you can use generative AI uh, just to analyze the data and tell you where the problems are. Once the problems are identified, it can help you bring in a 3D model. Uh, you look at a 3D model, you understand where the issues are. Uh, it helps you bring the right data out of uh, 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 um, operating manual in terms of what steps you need to take. And then it can create a work order for you to provide to the maintenance team uh, to, to uh, finish that work off. Uh, in the same area, uh, uh, we are also what we call as in the 3D engineering space. We are bringing in AI in that space where it can optimize the piping network for you. Or, and, and a lot of things, you know, we are just what we call as infused AI, just being added to a lot of other applications similarly. I think I'll, I'll talk about a few things here. Uh, uh, I think at, uh, at the panel I talked about advanced process control and real-time optimization. Advanced process control is fairly standard in the industry, but I believe the real-time optimization can bring in a significant value. Uh, uh, it, it is used by most of the, uh, I would say, the, the majors in the industry, but uh, I think I, the way I look at it is, more people use it, the better benefit would be. A simple example would be, it's like putting in an autopilot where it actually calculates and optimizes the plan for you and, and writes those set points to APC in a closed loop. Uh, Aviva also has uh, process simulation, which can be used to do offline optimization. And lastly, I will talk about our, uh, our data infrastructure, Pi data infrastructure, which is again, you know, it's just monitoring, but sometimes our monitoring also deliver benefits because you can compare uh, multiple assets and the performance of that, uh, relative performance of that, and some of our cus customers have documented up to 30% energy reduction. And I think that directly goes uh, to reducing the footprint, the carbon footprint of the industry.